Welcome back, everyone, to this edition of Try Hard Trucking with me, Roll Cage TV, where I do the best I can with what I've got, which is not a lot of talent, but a whole lot of recovering. If you watched the last episode, I did something really stupid with uh, with the Zix Mastodon, but uh, the sister vehicle came, did the job for him. Now, I recovered to the garage. I could have not covered let me go ahead and leave the garage for nothing else i did not really have to if i was playing on hard mode and i couldn't just recover for free there was a way to rescue it but it would have involved driving the uh zix the, the pink lady all the way back here to the garage put on the large crane drive all the way over and then that would have been strong enough to flip him flip him over. The little crane wasn't. He was not in a position where we'll watch the last episode. Not in a position where he was able to drive around because he was on the mud, just sliding. Anyway, let me uh, look at the job to do next. Because um Super order is still locked until I finish out with the old. All of these are locked. Now, I could do logging. There aren't a lot of logging tasks left. I did most of them. Uh, that's Drummond Island. That's Island Lake. I could do lumber, Island Lake. Um... But I think I'm going to save... Is there an easy one I can do? No, not really. Um, I can get medium logs. I can get medium logs here, but I think I have to go back to... I think I can get medium logs here. I'm all confused what direction I'm in. Okay, that would be over here. Yes, I can get medium logs here, but I can't get large logs. So. Um, medium logs go here and go to Island Lake. Three, that's a lot. Three, couple trips back and forth. Uh, two medium logs here. No, I'm better off just just uh, hanging out here at the garage for a while. I think, and uh, go do the next. Dyson diesel task. I can do this. Instruments development. Then out with the old, or then Harvard delivery, right? Yes. So this is the one I got to do next to be able to progress. Drilling equipment times three to Island Lake. Ugh. Okay. Drilling equipment is... Yeah, let me go to Island Lake. Uh, global map. Uh, Island Lake. Um... um. Island Lake. And get in the other other Zix. It's drilling equipment times three. Can I get drilling equipment here in Island Lake? I should have checked. I might have to bring that over. Which means I might have to grab another trailer, which means I would just sell the trailer. Um, sell the trailer I already had there. Let's see, where am I? Uh, yes, drilling equipment is can be picked up here. Okay. Mm. 
Oh, this is this is the one where I have to grab the three. Yes. Yes. These are these are large. Yes. I think these are large containers, right? Uh, why can't I not tell? It doesn't tell me. I think they're large containers, not small containers. Ugh, I don't remember. Where is, um... Why doesn't it tell me? It should tell you how large they are, right? Shouldn't it tell you how large they are? Somewhere? They're containers, but I don't know if they're oversized containers, just regular containers. I want to say they're oversized containers. I guess I can go find out. I'll be mad. Um, is there a ramp flatbed trailer here by any chance? No. No. Well, what I could do is take this trailer back, get the ramp flatbed trailer, and then I'll be able to take one with me at least. Did I not have a ramp flatbed trailer with this vehicle? At one point, I must have sold it, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, I know the thing to do. I am going to, uh, well, I might as well, um, start the engine. I think I can get this trailer flipped over. Even though I couldn't get the vehicle flipped over because this is, um, I've got a little bit more leverage. Yes, okay. I can't take it anywhere. Um, and that's in a very inconvenient place. I think I can drag it into a better place. Slowly. I can slowly drag it into a better place. First gear is all we got. I'll be dragging it on the pins, so I can't drag it on the on the feet, so I can't drag it on the bridge at all. Yeah, that's a good place to attach it, I think. And this island is probably not the best place. Um, I mean, this little branch here. 
But this, this would be right in the way of people trying to get through this double bridge area. Can I drag it straight enough across? Yeah, I think I can. I'm actually going in the direction of the trailer store anyway. It's probably done. All right, so let's go get the ramp flatbed. Which the only one I have to do is from the trailer store. So, which is uh, down here. Too many trailers. I'm happy about it. I'm gonna have to go around gathering all these things and selling them. Got the Brigadier there too. Which would be worthless trying to do the recovery. All right, go to the trailer store, get the ramp flatbed. Now I will be able to bring, if it's an extra large, I'll be able to bring one container with me on the ramp flatbed. <clears throat> um, and then I can either make two trips or I can bring the blue one out here with and pick up that trailer I just dropped off and um, pick up that semi-trailer. And then make I mean, it's going to be three trips regardless. Either make three trips with this truck or make two trips with this truck and one trip with the blue one. Because I don't think they're small container size. Oh, I should have grabbed that small. Well, yeah, I should have grabbed that small one. Brought it over here to sell it. Because I'd rather have the ramp flat there with this vehicle. Despite being hard to manage, it gives me the most most uh, most slots. Sorry about that. Flinch horn. I gotta hit the you gotta hit the parking brake. Like every time. Okay. First of all, let's repair everything and refuel everything. With our usual little trick. Uh, why does this insist on not doing it for the maintenance trailer? Um, does the Brigadier have any damage? It looks like it does not. 690 has 690 and 6 tires. Okay. And now... Fuel. I haven't used any fuel from any of these, right? No. Uh, the Brigadier just refueled also while he was here. Yes? Okay. Alright, so sell this. And now, I don't believe there's any other four slot 
trailers other than the um, Grand Flatbed four slot hitch trailers. looking ramp flatbed trailer that's the only one okay now we will head to and I want to hit all of these at least once not just go to the one that I can get um, I, I can get them all from does it tell me if I go here how many yes the drill equipment one Dueling equipment, one. Okay, so those are the two temporary ones. And then this one has unlimited number. Okay. So I will go... I guess it's the closest one. Because then I'll know the answer right away. If I can get all three. I don't think so. I think they are extra large container. Or large container size. Not standard container size. I do not remember... This is not a blind playthrough of Michigan. It'll be a blind playthrough, uh, semi-blind of Alaska. Well, I think I, I pretty much, I never finished Alaska completely on my own, um, but I came close. I did, um, I did finish Michigan completely and I've hardly been in a team here at all, so. This will be a blind playthrough once I get to Tamir, completely blind. But I didn't put blind playthrough in the description because I mean, it's not blind. And I might go ahead and use my other save to look through some of the areas too before I play them on stream. Because I don't, the goal is to not take, first time I went through Michigan, it took me 200 hours. I didn't use the, uh, Uber OP paid DLC vehicles. And so, uh, that's why I decided to use the good vehicles in this playthrough. So it would take me less than 200 hours. Because otherwise, it would have been November. Starting in February, ending in November. Is it November or starting March? I don't know. It's probably March. Let's see, it's just the start of May, so 70 or so episodes, 20, 22 or so a month, so three months. Been doing this for like three months. So that is uh, February, February, March, April. mentioned this earlier in the stream so previous YouTube episodes but this is making sure I'm hydrated this is uh, the day after my 12 hour marathon stream only a 12 hour break between that 12 hour stream and this uh, 6 hour stream but I do Uh, Mid-season, first Saturday, middle of the season, I do uh, marathon season. This is the mid-spring marathon season. So first Saturday is of February, May, August, and November. Four hours from noon until midnight. U.S. Central Time. Hope to, uh, uh, you know, hope you'll join me then for the next one. It's always a blast. I played uh, played a sports game on stream. I never I play usually games that I don't publish on YouTube. 
Uh, due to my the way my schedule works, I do have to play first two hours and start rally. But other than that, the other ten hours are things I don't publish on YouTube. I'll often play the same games I played before. Like Titan Quest is a a standard. I play that every marathon. And on the last couple I played. Uh, uh, military strategy game um, which I can't remember the name of now Order of Battle World War II but I played a couple of things that I hadn't played before on stream including TT Alaman 2 which I like a lot better than TT Alaman 3 but I also played um, Super Mega Baseball 3 I don't plan on getting Super Mega Baseball 4 because Electronic Arts bought them out and they're trying to change the character of the game. And It doesn't include a lot of the things that Super Mega Baseball 3 had, like management, season, stuff, and whatever. Okay, so here we go. Here we get to see... Um, I think it's four slots. It is four slots, okay. Which is what I had thought. Which means I'm going to deliver this one, then I'm gonna go back and get the, um, cause I need the semi, the semi trailer over here anyway. So I'm gonna get the blue truck, get it over here. I'll pick up the other ramp flatbed that's here because then I'll go the long, to the long track with it. Let me make sure I get this the right place. But we'll deliver this first one first. Uh, this is the big, this is a big contract. This is one of the region uh, goal. Completing the region requires this. Okay, so we're just gonna bring that right back to where we came. Easy schmeasy. after we pick it up. I was getting ready to walk by and I thought, wait a minute, I didn't actually pick it up, did I? <laughs> no, I didn't. That would have been a bit embarrassing. There, see, clean clean up the place. You gotta clean up the place a little. Uh, it still looks like a mess, but. Third gear, that's more like it. And I should be straight enough, right? Yeah, plenty of straight. Not even gonna think about it. Can this be considered an oversized load? I think it looked good. Rescue vehicles and oversized loads, they get the uh, beacon treatment. Hold on a second. All right. Fifth gear, now we're cooking. Can I get six? Can I get six? I didn't kick in the clutch when we give Yeah, kicking the clutch only gives you fifth. I shouldn't have done that. Should have let it go in the sixth on its own. I made it to six. I'm gonna mess it up. There we go.
I could put it in high, and then I know I'll stay in, like, what amounts to fourth gear. The problem is, I inevitably <laughs> stall the engine. So I don't can't coordinate my fingers well enough. Which is why it was a real fun to play Super Mega Baseball. I hadn't... It had been so many years since I played that game. I couldn't remember what any of the buttons did. I spent an hour... Um, trying to... Uh, going into the options menu. And what button throws the second base again? And how do I start the runners? And it's a really fun game. I played on the lowest possible skill level. And I did win... Oh, the first game. Oh, it was fun. It, it's a... It's probably still up there if you're watching on YouTube. It's a 12-hour stream. You can watch the VOD. If you watch it on the web interface, there are chapter markers. So you don't have to watch all 12 hours to get to the last two. You can just jump ahead to Super Bowl, Mega Baseball. It's uh, very fun. And no, I'm not bringing up in the highlights because it would take effort. <laughs> Oh, come on. Peek in the clutch is one of the great secrets. So, yes, it was very fun. First game, it's like I thought I was in a nine inning game. It turns out it defaulted for some reason to a three inning game and it's zero to zero right it's zero to zero um that's one i don't want to pull this thing i'm just gonna i think this will be out of the way here while i get the other truck which i'm gonna do now Stop the engine. Is that out of the way? Yeah, it's out of the way enough. Um, yeah, I thought it was a nine-inning game, so it was zero to zero up until like the sixth inning, and then I scored first. I was like, "Yay! I'm gonna, I'm ahead. I only have to hold out for like two more innings." But my pitcher got fatigued like after one inning. I couldn't figure out why they were so fatigued. It turned out as soon as I scored, I was the home team. The game ended. Like, what? It's ending already? Did I only pick like a five-inning game? Turns out I only picked a three-inning game. So if I'd have given up a run at all, it was an unintentional nail-biter. Quite funny. Quite fun. All right. Go back and... Um, Get the uh, Blue Baron. And I'm just going to go straight there because I know there's a ramp flatbed which I can pick up, or a uh, semi sideboard trailer which I can pick up on the way to the far drilling site, which is where I'm going to take this one. It might be a little um, bit of a waste of time, seemingly, to bring this one over there, but. I'm going to need it over there anyway to help clean up all the extra trailers over there. So, um, yeah. Oh, let's actually stop the engine. So I can, uh, once again, set up the path because I like to do that coming out of here lots of people watch the game that I know I don't know all the maps by heart and uh, I greatly appreciate it when people put waypoints on the map so I can help learn the maps and do I stop by here and get fuel well we'll assume I will I don't have all the trailers on this map gathered either. Hmm. 
Now from the right of this rock to the right of that rock is a nice straight way to go. Cuts out that whole bend. If you're looking for a, a good way of getting through the muck, as long as you have a good truck, but it's no worse than, uh, than on the road, so. So, making up a little bit for my uh, big mistake earlier on the stream. I think uh, I had a lot of people, my regulars, show up. People that are my uh, SnowRunner regulars show up yesterday. I didn't make a point of saying, yes, I am still doing SnowRunner today. Showed up for my uh, stream from yesterday, so my 12-hour stream. So I'm not sure they know that I... Uh, That I am streaming today. Yep, still streaming Snowrider. Every Sundays on Twitch, twitch.tv slash rollcage underbar TV. Sunday starting at 12 30 p.m. U.S. Central Time and lasting until 6 or shortly after 6 usually. Try to keep the episodes around 45 minutes, and uh, inevitably, inevitably I don't. Inevitably they run long. Because I record six episodes at a time, so if I can get six episodes in 45 minutes, that's, um... Four and a half hours, and then with break time in between, four hours, uh, or five hours. And if I can get everything done in five and a half hours, I can, uh, at six o'clock, be there for my kitty's feeding time. Otherwise, he gets fed late. And I love my kitty cat. I don't want him to get fed late. He gets wet for now. I'm not going to stop for the trailer, but that means I have to get close enough to get this thing to turn off. There we go. Oh, yeah! Now I'm going to damage myself and want to stop for the trailer. <laughs> I'm not going to stop at the trailer store and get fuel, but there's so many fuel carriers around the map. Island. I don't even have to position them anywhere. They're everywhere. Oh, that's not where I'm going down. I thought that was where I was going down. I get confused there a lot. Although I also have a bad habit of not marking. When you mark the uh, map, you want to mark your turns you want to mark just past the intersection otherwise the blue dot doesn't go away I've seen people mark the map right at the intersection okay I'm gonna to go to this intersection maybe if they know the map I'm gonna to go to this intersection then I'm gonna go down this road if I do that I go to this intersection and as I'm approaching the intersection I'm panicked because which way do I go with the intersection now did I go left? Do I go straight? It isn't until I get to the middle of the intersection the blue mark goes away. It's like, oh, okay, I was supposed to go that way. Well, I try to mark it just to the side of the intersection if I'm turning, just past the intersection if I'm going straight. Tips! These are my tips with my three months of experience playing the game. I 
game is so rich and full. Um, even people that have not played very long, they stumble upon something that a veteran hasn't discovered yet. Just because, you know, you can play the game for years and there's still little tricks that maybe you haven't come across before. I know Wesel, I, I mention him a lot, Wesel on wheels. Um, says he still struggles with the Russian crane, and I, I'm i decent at the Russian crane. I've taken a lot of uh, pains to try to work out the best way of using it. The secret is to don't, don't raise the crane with... Don't hit the raise crane buttons while you're carrying a load. Raise the winch. You can move the crane side to side slightly, but the best thing to do is to raise the crane up nice and high, and then uh, use the winch to lift the load up, which is just opposite of, like the American crane, if you get tight on the, and it, and it seems to be intuitive to put the crane very close to the load before you attach the winch and then you can raise the crane and move the load around but um, you don't want to do that although I mean large cranes you know like construction cranes you don't raise you don't lower them to pick up a load, right? So you gotta treat it like a construction crane. You have the crane nice and high and then you winch the load up. And then you can turn it to the side and put it where you want. Maybe that's a good way of thinking of it. Good way of teaching it anyway. Pretend it's a construction crane where you can't raise it and lower it. You don't raise and lower it with a load on it. You uh, use the winch. And obviously, a construction crane, you can't lower it too much. Others. I'm not talking about like those big T cranes. I'm talking about, you know. Like the cranes that right now, as I'm recording this, they're currently um, using on the bridge in Boston, that, or Baltimore, I mean, that uh, tragic accident happened. Get, uh, get the mangled stuff off of the ship and out of the channel. Um, if you're watching this after the fact, it is, uh, just the start of May 2024, so, um, go look up the news, Francis Scott Key Bridge, Baltimore, want to learn about what happened. Okay, so, looking at the map, I think I'm going to take this guy to the farthest site, because... Then I'll be going right by this um, sideboard semi-trailer. Which is what I need. I suppose I could look to see if... Because there's lots of other sideboard semi-trailers. Like there's one right here. Oh wait, this is the one. Yeah, this sem sideboard semi-trailer has got something on it. Well, yeah, pick that baby up. In that case, I could go to the middle one. Well, the semi-trailer is more stable, so I'll uh, go to the far one with this. You don't have to visit all three sites, but... That's part of my uh, concept of hit that fuel carry trailer. Yeah, see, this has one metal beam. So I could pick that up and use that if I knew someplace that needed one metal beam. But uh, I'm not bothering to optimize right now. I'm not in an optimized mood. 
<laughs> I should be optimizing doing multiple deliveries you know don't go someplace empty when you can go that was wrong and you can uh, carry a load somewhere Now these guys are going completely different directions, or maybe not. Is there an intersection where I can meet? No, see this guy is going like over here. They can meet at the sawmill and then I can tandem them back, but tanning them, tandeming them back um, across these bridges? Yeah, no way am I going to do that, so I might as well not tandem them. And I will pretty much just get to the sideboard trailer by the time my uh, tide is out. But let me make sure I have north pointing north. That's the I, that's the path right there. That's the plan. Then they have to get dropped back off of the warehouse. And I think this is the one that has an unlimited supply, but I do want to get one from the other place. To, uh, basically, 100%ing means clearing the map off. Any, uh, any temporary cargo has been removed. All the trailers have been... Any places that could be shut down or shut down. Now, the question is... Can I make this turn? Um, hmm. uh, come on. Pull this to the side. This is not going to go well because it's a sideboard semi. It's a semi sideboard. I'm just dragging this. This winch is powerful enough. I'm just dragging it by the feet. Okay, now it's pretty much stuck. If it's just one, oh, it's in a terrible spot now, too. I have to lift it up out of the mud to get it attached. So I can drive it. You know what? I don't have to go across the bridge. I'm not going to go across the bridge. That's how I got in trouble last time. I'm just going to keep pushing it until I can get under it. Okay, there we go. Now I'm too far back. Alright. See, this is how I got in trouble last time. Trying to make this turn around these bridges. I'm not going to do it. I've got me a snorkel. I'm driving the Mastodon. Except they're going to have to get rid of that waypoint. That's going to drive me crazy. Get close enough. Get close enough. Oh, I'm going to have to go around this tree. Oh, for goodness sakes. Of course, this side is deeper than the other side. <laughs> I should have just got on the other side. You see where the reeds are sticking up. This side right next to the bridge is deeper. 
see, that waypoint was trying to tell me something. It was trying to tell me, no, no, go on the other side of the bridge. Did I listen? No. I happen to know that other side of the bridge is not very deep because I was just driving the uh, other, the pink lady through there. Trying to rescue, I mean, rescuing this guy's uh, cargo. Spoiler alert! <laughs> If you haven't watched the previous couple of episodes, it was quite entertaining. Alright, I am gonna pull up here. To the sawmill, which is where everything's No, that's not where I'm going. Whatever I'm going to In that trailer, I'm just gonna sell. Next time I get close to it and I can try to get back. Oh, in fact, I'll winch it with this vehicle when I come back. Because I'm coming back the exact same way. Hopefully, I'll remember to do that. Hopefully, I'll remember to do that in the next episode. I'm going to take a break here if you are watching on Twitch. Uh, so, don't go away if you're watching on Twitch. I'm just going to take a couple minute break. If you are watching on YouTube, though, that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode will be the next weekday at noon. Uh, U.S. Central Time. So uh, I will see you then. Either way.